What's up guys and welcome on back to Starfield. So we just located the last artifact. I'm gonna try and mine it, take it out of this this cave. Calibrated Constellation Spacesuit added. What is that? What the hell? I mean, it's not as good as the one I'm, I'm rocking right now, but... Still pretty cool. But yeah, guys, we've we located the final artifact here on the planet Curie. And um, now we have all of the artifacts and we should be able to travel through the unity into a different universe. Go to Masada. So before we do that, Wait, actually, let's see. Where is that on the map? It's actually a long ass ways away. So let me see. We should have some decent. Or we should have enough ammo, I should say. To get the job done. Got some. Eight. Let's see how many med kits do we have? All right, we got 15 trauma packs. We got 16 med packs. That's a lot. Only thing that worries me is my ammo. Um, but I think we'll we'll be all right. So we're gonna head back to our ship and uh, head on over. To Masada and uh, fight the emissary and the hunter and um, essentially end the story guys I'm excited to see how this is gonna end it's been a long playthrough I don't know if I'm going to travel into the unity and start a new game or new game plus um, I know we have the option to, d to pick So I'm going to be thinking about that. Over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Shit, I don't think I can get up here. Yeah, we're going to head that way and uh, essentially fight two Starborn members and uh, see what the hell happens. Well, I guess they just want to get right into the fighting. I thought we were fighting on the ground too, but I guess not. I don't suppose either of you will listen to reason. You had your chance to pick a side. Don't go walking back from your lone wolf strategy now. A fight in the heavens themselves. What more could we ask for?
don't know why, but this fight seems pretty easy. Dude, our engine's dead. I'm not gonna lie, I, my sh my ship isn't the fastest, guys. I mean, I'm land at land at the beer buried temple. Yeah, I don't know why, but that fight was extremely easy. So now we get to fight face to face. Man, that's a big ass ship. Extreme cold. So we have to go this way. Might as well just take my gun out. Oh, damn. Killed a whole bunch of people. Holy crap, guys. Well, I might as well just loot all their shit. Get some med packs. Looks like we got some ammo. This poor, poor guy was protecting the ammo. Some DG picks. We're gonna do a little. I want to look around first before we head that way. Just in case. I don't. I don't want to miss anything important. Oh, we got a. Uh, you see a uh, meal pack. I mean, what is this place? I'm guessing they were trying to, um, Ecliptic was trying to find the uh, artifact. Wow, dude, look at that. It's so crazy. Oh, shit. All right, before we get into the fight, let me, uh, I'm going to take some... This guy has three shields. Oh, 
shit. Am I getting knifed? Oh sh shit. They're not affected. Seems like that damage resistance is helping out. Where am I getting shot from? God. Actually, I got I need to remember to use the quantum essence. Dead bodies everywhere. I mean, these guys are scumbags anyway, so. I feel like we're getting a lot of trauma packs, which is, uh, which means this boss fight that's upcoming is, uh, oh fuck, they chopped this guy's arm off. It means it's gonna be pretty intense. I mean, guys, we're literally finding med packs every single at every single loot location. Very simple. Death is only the beginning. What the hell? Wait, the ecliptic? Oh shit. Guy right here. Where is he? What the hell? Nah, man, death's coming for your ass. Oh shit.
damn it, we're over encumbered. Starborn doing that, never mind. Nice toss. Find a way to open the door. Well, we got the card. Before we go any further, I'm gonna take another battle stem. And then I'll probably need to drop. So I don't want to be over encumbered. I probably could drop a few more items, but. Or consume a few more items. But here we go, guys. That door is closed. And they just blew this open. Look at that. See what I'm saying? There's med packs all over the place. And this place is massive. Oh, we're gonna take all the med packs that we can. Wow, dude. It's an absolute bloodbath. Absolute bloodbath. I see a lot of ammo in here, so I'm gonna go in there real quick. And, um. Try to pick some of that up. It's not that one. Damn, it can't be that. It can't be that, guys. So maybe it's that one? Oh, there we go. 
And we got a lot of ammo. I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's anything that we need, but... Mining. This guy got bent over. It's a shitty way to go, man. Right, so we're over encumbered again. Let me just eat a few things. I know I'm wasting time here, but. Just gonna eat a couple things. Wait, where the hell did we go? We go up. Oh no, we go down. Never mind. I mean, this place is freaking massive, guys. Enter the anomaly. What the hell? Is that Lynn? Okay, you. You're up. If something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Wow, guys, it's so crazy. The amount of hours that we put into this game already. And just coming back to that one, the, the beginning moments of the game. Or the intro to the game. Find the artifacts. That's not good. It's really not good. I don't know what the hell is happening, but my... My guns are putting out a lot of damage. So I'm going to take this damage resistance. I just does I think it's red trench. They got fucking turrets. Disable the defenses. How do we do that? Base key.
Hey, let's go. Fuck, dude. Can we not do that? Don't tell me we can't turn the damn... Kind of sucks. Shit, we do it from here. Never mind. Uh, remote control. Deactivate. Robot control. We definitely got to deactivate them. And these people got slaughtered, man. I guess we did make the right decision. Or it seems like we made the right decision. There's no mention of the cave in the brief. There's structures in there, Commander. Now we get to enter another anomaly. We have visitors! Vardek, you didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! God! Damn it. The hell? Open up on him! So we have not... I wonder if we should have... Got the collector's outfit. What the hell is going on, guys? I will say his ship is pretty damn cool. Well, I do have to say that I like the the thought process behind the ending of this game. You know, it's not just like 
It's like they designed the game around New Game Plus. Which is pretty unique in itself. Don't know if you're from heaven above or just some visitor from beyond. But uh, safe travels. Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No. I'll pour one out to the hey, blackest we... sea for you, Rook. So apparently we died. What the? Crix's ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay. I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. So can we... Do we go back out? That way? Wow, dude. I think the one thing too for me, I know a lot of people rushed through this game to um, get to like new game plus. But honestly for me, it feels more rewarding having spent, you know, I think I have like eight days in the game, over eight days. Oh, damn. So for me personally, it just feels more rewarding having spent, having invested a lot of time into the game. And they're just throwing everything at us, guys. I think we're stuck too. I think we're over encumbered. All right, let me see what this legendary gun is. I know I've picked one of these up before. Screw it. We'll just, um, uh... we'll, uh, we'll add it to our favorites and we'll just use it. We do have a lot of freaking. We are over encumbered. Screw it. But yeah, guys, I, you know I've spent a long time in this in this playthrough. And it just feels more rewarding investing that time into it rather than rushing through the story. Wow, guys, look at this shit.
Oh fuck, they're behind me. Shit, guys. We're gonna head that way. Wow, dude. Over there. Right, so we gotta go through this door. What are we gonna find on the other side? We still have yet to run into the hunter and the emissary. Neither of you are stopping me. You're both obsessed with the artifacts. The universe is better off without you too. More talking. I'm a little disappointed. No. Wait. I want to hear this. Fine. All right, so we can persuade them. Oh, maybe we should just kill them. Maybe I'm just humoring you before I take what's mine. Not to be blunt, but that felt a little pointless. I'm also unconvinced. This can only end one way. Well, at least we tried to talk. Damn, they're sending the whole cavalry after us. Shit. Dude, switch to first. Fucking nades. Reload this bad boy, man. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Alright, 
right, let me take some... Let me take some buffs. Gonna take some... Bouncing through the We're like jumping through What the heck is going on? Oh, so we killed them both. Wow, dude, look at all the artifacts that they have. What is that? And they just disappeared. Wow, that's crazy, guys. Well, we got two, we got two weapons. Eternity's gate. Look at the, look at that. What the hell? Skip shot, every four shot fires two projectiles at once. Hand loading, volatile rounds that are designed to pack a bigger punch. Dude, that is crazy. Where's the other one? Unmitigated violence. Small chance to frenzy a target. Radioactive. Randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target. Wow, dude, that's crazy. And so we're gonna take the artifact. your friends before you leave 
That's an optional task. One giant leap. So yeah, guys, I decided to kill both the emissary and the hunter because although they had some valid points, I felt like they were also being a little selfish as well. Like the emissary wanted to pick and choose who got to access the unity and you know traverse to different realities and universes whereas the hunter you know he was willing to he was willing to allow humans the ability or people the ability to travel through like he, he didn't care but at the same time like His whole ideology was built on death and murder and, you know, he was going to kill you to get the artifact. So, although, I mean, you, I guess you could, couldn't go wrong with any of the options if you decided to kill the hunter and side with the emissary, or if you decided to kill the emissary and side with the hunter, it's just up to your preference. Um, but I decided to kill both because I feel like we should be able to clearly we can harness the power. Oh, can we access that ship? Talk to your friends before you leave. A moment, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news if we do not see each other again. Goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Unusually effective? Always knew we could pull this off. Finally, these new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. We did it! We have all the artifacts. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? This is amazing. The, the, the unity, the multiverse, this is everything and more, literally. A lot to unpack. Who says? Thankfully, we aren't in charge of preparing humanity for the next big milestone of our species. This explains so much, though. They're disorganized, petty, weird, and also deeply fascinating at the same time. Because they are just people. We never rule that out, but it feels so good to know we weren't fighting against robot alien ghost gods or something. I do have to say, I was, I was kind of surprised. I thought we would be... Um, 
coming into contact with alien creatures, but I like the approach that they went in terms of the story. It seems more grounded. True. We need to approach this critically and carefully. We can't just jump in. Or, uh, I, I mean, we could, I guess. But it all comes back to this. We don't know what will happen if you enter the Unity. You might lose yourself or become a two-headed space shark. There are too many variables. Whoever enters the Unity might become our next enemy. What? No. I just have to go back and forth about it for a while first, and then I'll be completely fine. Just part of my process. Of course, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I will say this. Our entire purpose in Constellation is to explore. Why would we stop now? Obviously. If you were ready to jump in right now, I would not be following you. I'm sorry to say. It's a huge decision. It could change who you are fundamentally. It's not like dyeing your hair gold or getting a full body cat suit or eating a full pack of extra wild spicy chunks in under a minute. This is serious business. Anytime. The possibility of oh. turning evil aside. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the lead on this. You're guiding Constellation to new frontiers, new discoveries, and we should all follow your example. Uh, on that note, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you, if you have time. It's not on the scale of entering the Unity, but it is tangentially related. Thanks. <laughs> this has been swirling in my brain goo for a while now. So, I've been pondering over what's happened and what it all means. And I've got a favor to ask. A teensy weensy favor. About the size of a plank length, really. I think it's time I joined you in the physics bending powers business. <laughs> See if one of those temples works for more than just you. Marvelous. I'm glad you're as gung-ho about this as I am. As it so happens, I've already talked to Vladimir. Seems our eye in the sky is back up and running. He's sent me the coordinates for the temple already. We just have to visit. Oh, so that's pretty cool. I asked Take Bear. Mateo if you were friends, you got time for a quick chat. Holy hell, he that's one at a time here. Shit. But I'm pretty sure he was just saying it. I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'd be a little offended if it were me being called too. You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. Look. Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. So crazy, man. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Ah, uh, I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but... Going to take it slow. So he's going to be in charge of Constellation. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. 
I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? We talked to... The journey seems to be coming to an end. So, does Vosco belong to you now? Or so, does he still belong to Bear? the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Constellation has given me a home, and I will always be grateful. But I also feel... ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? You have you have my permission to punch any other versions of me if you want. If you of me you meet. Oh, that was already my plan. If we do not see each other again, then goodbye. I am proud of all that we have accomplished. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh... You're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times and... I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but... Even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind... We'd both regret it. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. But I gotta keep telling myself that Korra's ready for this. And hey, same goes for you. If we don't see each other on the other side, it's been... Um, <laughs> all worth it. I mean... Korra I could, does uh, want... really bend your ear when you got a moment. Korra does want to go out and explore. But all right, Barrett, you ready to play? Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, I uh, tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. When she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. It's kind of weird that we can flirt, like... Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. I like how Barrett's just like creeping on us in the back. It's so, so funny, guys. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know. Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Nah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. 
But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. You are just too damn wise for your own good. Well, something to think about. Uh, for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Hmm? What do you Oh, mean? sorry. I was just doing no, some math I in my not. head. Trade the gabs with you. Trade the gabs with you. Spend so much time looking at the scans. I can see star systems orbiting in my head. Let's deal. Oh, we don't have any. Draw the words another time, then. So let's see. Do we have so, anybody else? Craziest bar fight. All right, there's a couple I other people. to the lodge. Triggered a full system update. I am now fully prepared to assist you. All right, well, he's sleeping. Oh, we got to talk to Noel. She's sleeping, too. All right, wakey, wakey. I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity, the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. It's kind of it's kind of sad, guys. Like the whole group, the gang is, um, you know, parting ways. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work, especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. <laughs> Maybe one day. For now, I think I'm better off letting Vladimir have that headache. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Was well, pretty sad, guys. Sam, buddy. Kind of disappointed There's Walter never got like us a an ship. investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was... You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Time is money. 
and an interest on a loan is the incentive to remember that. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Well, it's pretty damn cool, guys. But we actually did get a another quest. Let's see. I thought we had a quest with with um Barrett. Did we not? Alright, well maybe maybe we just gotta go to one of those sites. Oh wait, it's right here. We're gonna do that one. We're gonna go do that one, guys. Is he with me? Let's go, Barrett. So we gotta we gotta show Barrett how to uh gain these powers and abilities. This is gonna be very interesting. So we gotta go oh. Come on, Barrett. There's essentially no gravity here, guys. Let me show you the way, buddy. So, this is it. Just look at this place. Unbelievable. So we got to do all the work for him.
I guess we step through. This is Barrett, returning your call. What in the... Who in the... Whoa. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Barrett. He's Barrett. I'm Barrett. Other than that mind-bending fact, there's really not that much to it. You got to be joking. Nope. Okay. Skipping the initial shock of it all. Agreed. Not worth it. Forming a hypothesis. Hmm. Who's the evil one? Molecular binary schism? Temporal twinning? Group hallucination? Don't forget the fluctuations in the energy patterns which align almost deterministically. Harmonized vibrations distorting some mechanical barrier between neighboring universes? Impossible to know with such a minute subset of readings. We need more data. Obviously. Obviously. Whoa there. Sustaining this connection requires a lot of concentration. Is this permanent? You will eventually monitor the energy fluctuations and agree. But no, this is unusual. I could study this forever. Irvin told me to just enjoy it and collect data on the side for later. And I'm glad I did. Irvin? He's with you. He's... okay? By the tone of your voice, I'm gathering some things in our lives might be a bit different. Is he... is he happy? Yes, he is. Our daughter pilots the ship after Vasco was destroyed. But otherwise, we've survived the war well. Um... Oh, man. I only hope the new one we're building is just as salty as the last one. I will say Va Vasco does like to... He's like, your survival rate is... You will not survive this fight. He would just uh, joke around when we would do... When we were getting to fights and whatnot. Amazing. Sounds like you don't have a daughter here, I take it. No. We talked about it, but... No. We named her after Aja. My mentor? She died in the crossfire between the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective decades ago. For me? Irvin died instead of Aja in that crossfire. She's best friends with Cora. And she's smart as hell. <laughs> of course she is. I have so many questions. I wonder how many paths I've taken. We've taken. How many variations? How many ended with heartache and how many with joy? I think about that all the time. Wait. What's that noise? Starborn ship. We can handle this. On it. Defend against the Starborn. Oh shit, let me I'm gonna use my gu the guns that I got guys. Eternity's gates. I'm gonna put
Put that there. I'm going to put my cutter here. We got some more. From across the vast universe, a friendly version of yourself arrives armed and ready to lend aid. Damn, that's so crazy. That's so damn cool, guys. So we're going to go with that for now. That's so crazy. Crazy. So look, for the record, I am the same Barrett that came here with you. For sure. I think. Isn't it? I mean, hey, at least only one other Barrett appeared. Imagine if an army of, uh, me showed up. True. How would I stand out in a crowd made entirely of myself anyway? Anyway, it's a relief, you know. I have this ability, this power. And I'm still just... me. Just regular Barrett. And they already feel like it's subsiding. I no longer feel like I'm in a huge crowd. I thought so too. Other me? Other Barrett? Seemed like he was able to handle himself well in that fight. Anyway, we'll see. If the other me gets in the way, I can just release him or stop using the power entirely. For now, I just need to use this power a bit and digest what all has happened. That's pretty exhausting, really. So I might only do it when I feel like we could use backup. For now, anyway. That's pretty damn cool, guys. So let's see. We don't have anything selected. So we're going to build an armillary on our ship. Oh. The real question is, can we steal the ship, guys? Inaccessible. Well, that sucks. All right, so let's fly on over to our ship. It's actually pretty freaking insane. We have no gravity here. It reminds me of uh, the very first moon that I built an outpost on and Drayfon, which seems like I did that ages ago. So let's build this thing. I still don't know if I'm going to go through. If I'm going to enter the unity. Can protects us from certain death constantly without fail. So far anyway. I haven't made up my mind yet, but uh You've completed the arm 
Armilar, Lari. Once you power up your grab drive, you'll jump to the Unity. Unity, remove the Armilari. Okay, so. Power up the grab drive to jump. Okay, so I'm guessing we just gotta get, we gotta take off. All right, before we, before we uh, power up the grab drive, let me... Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Oh, that's Grandma. That's Grandma. Let's see. I think we have... I thought I had some... Yeah, shit parts. I need to put that in my, in, in my, uh, ship. I always have that in my inventory and not on my, in my cargo hold. Hold on, Grandma. I hate talking on this infernal thing too much. Just come on over. Give me a sec, Grandma. So I remember this from the, uh, one of the trailers that they released. She was like offering to make a home cooked meal or some shit. I see a green light on the airlock seals. We have a clean duck. Shepherd's Pie. It's a pretty cool ship. Is this closed? Guess we gotta go up. she go oh shit oh, where did they uh Where'd grandma go to, guys? Oh, there she is. Well, hello. Was hoping you'd drop by. The worst part of space travel is having to eat alone. I used to eat with my better half every meal until he passed. I've got plenty. I hope you're hungry. Chicken tikka. My oh my, so formal. It is a particular pleasure to meet you, my good sir. I finally retired last year, and I've been traveling all over. I wish I could have done this when I was younger, but it's still a treat. My grandkids are mortified that I'm out here. Positively livid. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the characters I've encountered. I got good shields, and I always have enough helium-3 to jump somewhere safe. I'm careful. So, what do you think of the settled systems? I can't believe there are so many stars, planets, moons, and whatnot. It makes my head spin just thinking of it. 
Well, aren't you the most precious thing? Give her a thousand credits. I'm doing pretty good. But the expenses do add up. But I won't let you leave empty handed. Take this. And please do tell what do you think of the settled system? Ain't that the truth? I'm afraid I'm worn out, dear heart. I'm at the tail end of a very long day. But feel free to grab some extra food or whatnot. I've got plenty. Grandma in here whipping up some food, man. She's got a lot of food. Meatloaf. She got some uh, cool looking dolls. What is that? Let's take that doll, because I've never seen that doll. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stay on task now. We're gonna go back and um, use the grab drive. Hey, you might want this. Just hold on to me for it. Hold on to it for me, Barrett. Seal released. Adios, Grandma. The hell, guys. It's so damn cool. Are we supposed to walk up? Wow, guys, look at that. All the different, I guess, solar systems and. It's absolutely insane. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? I mean, we've all had regrets, if we're honest, anyway. I mean... That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. The Starborn said I would be reborn. This sounds like death. 
Skip to the part where I become more powerful. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why. So that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. So we could... As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. So it's crazy, guys. So we could see... By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. So because we kill the Emissary and the Hunter, you know, humans have access to unity. You know, Ron they have Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. So that's pretty interesting. So, the, so we decided to go the route of when we were going through the United Vanguard's quest line, we decided to go with this creature to clear out the Terramorphs. Um, they essentially like kill them or whatnot. The other option was to use like chemicals to completely kill out. I'm not gonna say planets, but um, we would use like chemicals. It might like mass produce chemicals to try and kill the Terramorphs. But I decided to go with that option. Seems like it was a little better, uh, a better option, at least in my opinion. I think this is the Crimson Fleet.
Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. So essentially, like I said at the very beginning, we were going for sort of like a good guy playthrough. And, um, you know, we joined the Vanguard, we joined the Freestar Collective. And, um, kind of going through and cleaning up a lot of the, uh, you know, like the, the Ecliptic and the Crimson Fleet, uh, factions, which is, uh, which was pretty cool. And it's cool to see all of this coming to... You know, all this tying into the main story. I don't know, guys. It has been good to see you. I don't know if we should leave. Ay, ay, ay. Once you are reborn, there is no going back. So we're going to walk away, guys. I don't think I'm ready for it yet. So we're going to walk away. We do have all the artifacts, so we can... jump through and become starborn at any point in time. You are reaching the edge of the starfield. Go further, and you will return to your original universe. We will be waiting for you, should you come back. Who is we, guys? Like, who is the we? The artifacts have been added to your inventory. Rebuild the arm armillary on the on a ship to return to the unity. So did Barrett jump through? Did he leave? Where's Barrett? This looks a lot less like a mind-bending experience of space and time and more like us hanging around like we always do. I mean, did we all choose to come back? <laughs> this is an explorer's group, right? You see, that's where the Unity made a mistake. Never let people back out of a life-altering experience. They'll choose the familiar every time. All right, let's salvage something from this wreckage. The unity. Tell me you took notes. That good, huh? All the more reason to get back there. Look, I know everyone's probably overjoyed to see you, especially now that they had a moment where you might have been gone for good. But I'm telling you, Take the jump. Get out there into that next universe. And yeah, I know I'm being hypocritical, but you know what I mean. Got a minute to chat? Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours, though. But no guarantees. But he still wants to talk to I've us. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things, just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things, 
Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Interstellar communication isn't always reliable. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. I know this is probably long done, but I heard his voice. I can't just not look into it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. This recording is 20 years old. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. See what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. That's pretty crazy, man. So we could have just gone through the unity and not had that dialogue option with him. But then... I don't know, it's pretty crazy. So there might be a mission that pops up later on. But um But yeah, guys, we're going to we're going to end it there. I'm not going to jump through. I'm not going to go through Unity and become st Starborn quite yet. I feel like I want to do a couple other things in this universe before I go in and you know, start completely brand new in a, a new universe new game plus um i feel like there's a couple things i want to go through some side quests and whatnot uh before i jump into that i might i might hold off and wait i might jump into new or jump into the unity and become starborn as we approach some of the dlc and the uh the mods uh that come out for console i might wait around that time period and then jump into unity and uh you know start a new game plus start a new i don't know how what kind of playthrough i would go for um i know i've been mentioning that i would kind of go for more of like the crimson fleet like a bad guy type playthrough but i don't know i um it's just very interesting just the the new game plus the end game and all of this and uh i don't know if i'm gonna play it new game plus here on the channel i might do that you know in my spare time whenever i have time it's hard to find time but let me know let me know if you guys want to see a new game plus here on the channel um 
if so make sure you guys are you know smashing that like button and drop a comment let me know and uh you know we'll get that cooking here on the channel but um but yeah man what if what a freaking what a, what an episode pretty damn crazy i like that they give you the the option to either jump through and become starborn or you know leave and stay in the universe and continue doing what you're doing but um thank you so much for watching like always if you guys are enjoying this content make sure you smash and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel it really does really does help the videos out um youtube algorithm can be all over the place at times so you know smashing the like button and subscribing really does help out but um once again thank you so much take care stay positive and i'll see you in the next one